All right, hello YouTube, and uh, gosh, I guess it's Happy Halloween today. Um, obviously, I'm in my regular costume. Anyway, so an update on where I'm at with the Wood Perusa i3 build. Uh, I've made some mistakes along the way that I'm going to share with you beforehand, so hopefully you've had the opportunity to watch these videos before you go out and buy some things. Um, 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 um. To start with, I made the mistake last time I spoke with you. I said I ordered six feet of eight millimeter linear rod. Um, that's not enough. You need, I believe, seven and a half feet. That's the minimum. So go ahead and get yourself three um, meter sticks or three three foot sticks, and then you'll have plenty of excess. Um, and that's kind of one of the form factors that they come in: one foot, three foot, or six foot. Um, so I had to go to the hardware store. Secondly, it turns out the rod that I ordered, even though I thought I ordered chromed, uh, hardened linear rods in 8mm, I ended up buying 5 16 and I didn't buy enough. So I've got the majority of my rods um, in the X and Y axis are these, these at least uh, bearing quality, or Sean McMaster Carr says, um, rods. And then one of my um, Z axes is also that same quality, and then one is a lesser quality from from Home Depot. I'm less concerned with the Z axis because they don't you don't have a lot of travel up and down in any kind of speed, at least not regularly. The problem is by going a five, with a five sixteenths rod versus an eight millimeter rod, you're going to get a little bit more slop. Now I did some reading on the forums, and people are saying, "Why do you care?" Because the amount of slop in 5 16 versus 8 millimeter is 0 .003 something and that's way lower than the tolerance that you'd get in the printer anyway. So I'm going to try it. I mean I've already cut up the rods, it's not like I'm re going to return it, uh, but I might find that once I get my linear bearings they just don't play nice with this rod and I might have to buy another another round of them, but again that's not going to be too expensive, but this is where I'm at at the moment. The other thing, I did order those um, stepper motors that uh, I said were $35 plus $10 shipping or $45 out of California. Not bad stepper motors and the guy did remove, the person I bought it from, did remove the pulleys that were fixed on here because I don't have a pulley uh, pulley puller at the moment. Size wise was great. They're four pounds per inch so they're pretty strong. But what they didn't say in the auction um, and I neglected to mention is there 24 volt? I looked up the part number once it arrived. Now the way the auction describes it, it says up to 36 volts, and that's great. But um, your ramp board, if you go the ramp board route, um, and the the Adreno Mega clone and whatnot, they're really only rated for up to about 15 volts. Really around 12 volts is what you're supposed to do with them. Uh, that's what I intended to do with them because I had a nice uh, 3 amp 12 volt power supply I was going to run this thing on. But now I've got five 24 volt stepper motors and there are some benefits to having a, a 24 volt stepper motor um, and everybody says if you go 24 volts convert everything to 24 volts. 24 volt fans, 24 volt hot end, um, 24 volt um, heated bed. Again, in most cases the heated bed I don't care about because I'm not running it on this, this machine. The hot end, uh, I haven't even bought a hot end yet. Um, I might even make one and see what I can come up with. So um, I, I guess I'm not too concerned about there. However, there is a bit of a challenge finding 24 volt fans apparently. So uh, if that's the case, do keep that in mind. Um, let's see what else, what else. Um, yeah, otherwise, you know, the guy delivered getting back to the stepper motors, the guy delivered what was in the auction, however it didn't didn't specify a minimum voltage and that's that's something you're going to want to look at if you're going to buy off eBay, which is fine, just contact the seller and say what is the minimum voltage that these uh, stepper motors are designed to work at because if it was a minimum 12 volts maximum 36, that would have been in great shape but these really are minimum 24 and if you find, because you didn't do your homework like me and when you hook these things up and try it out, because I did try one of these motors in my Perusa i3, that no matter what you do, um, 
Oops, excuse me. Then no matter what you do, uh, adjusting the potentiometer on the ramps board, that you're just still not getting any movement out of the stepper motor, it might be due to the fact that it's not getting enough voltage. So keep that in mind. Um, that alarm was saying my pizza's ready. But what I will show you real quick is where I'm at on this build. Um, can move these motors out of the way. Here we go. Um, it's coming along. Um, I printed some little springy deals to go in between my uh, my bed so that I can level them, which was nice. Uh, I did install some of the stepper motors. I got all my plastics kind of laid out. Again, no linear rods yet, so these are going to just hanging out. I have to cut my threaded rod for the 5mm stuff. And I didn't have any 5mm nuts, so I had to order some of those too. No big deal. Again, I'm not in a rush, but there you have it. I printed out some of these little corner jobs to kind of make it all happen. Um, it's a process, but it's kind of fun. I may find once I get this all done, and, and bear with me here because I'll let you know when I know, that after I do all this and I've assembled all the parts, or acquired all the parts, that the one downfall is the wooden parts that I've made, and I may just rip those out and buy the uh, aluminum, acrylic, hell they even make carbon fiber. Um, I don't know yet. I'm going to see if I can get this thing to work wood with wood. With my doing. That was my intent. But if I find that it's just not doing what I want it to do for purposes of rigidity or um, precision, then I will pull off the wood and go buy probably acrylic or something like that. Another thing I may do is, again, if I don't like what's coming out of it printer-wise once I get it up and running, I may swap out for uh, eight millimeter chrome linear rod because that's not what I have at the moment. Won't know until I try, but uh, I'm still working on trying to do that really inexpensive build. I don't like throwing money at things if I can help it, but at the same time, I do have money to invest in something to be functional. So I will report back. In the meantime, this is where we're at.